Good day, everybody. Welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're starting a new project, and this is about six months ago. I picked up a Ford 8.8 .8 axle out of a 98 Explorer. It's got 410 gears, limited slip. None of that matters because everything's coming out. But I picked up this rear end to stick into my Jeep TJ that I recently did an LS swap in, and it currently still has the Dana 35. So I need something that's going to be a little bit more stronger. Now this is just gonna be the introduction video if you guys have watched my other videos, especially on the LS swap, I'm documenting everything that I'm doing during this build to fit it up to my Jeep. Everything, even the smallest detail will be covered. So if someone wants to tackle this job, hopefully all the videos will kind of give them an idea what they're up against. Of course, one of the first things you gotta do is completely strip the axle i don't know what i need to keep what i don't need to keep obviously things like the brake calipers brake lines those are all coming off because i'm going to get new ones and do i need the sway bar do i adapt the jeep these are all things i'm going to need to figure out as this build goes along one of the things i did pick up was an artec truss and that's in this box here and this truss kit comes with all your control arm mounted brackets and everything else that I'll need to adapt it for the Jeep. So that being said, gonna be completely stripping the axle down, cleaning up the rust as best as we could. Gonna be welding an Artec truss on it, replacing the differential. I'm gonna try to put a Detroit True Track in it and re-gear to 4.56, cause that's the gears I currently have in my Jeep at the moment. And all those videos will be documented in the series. So I'm going to end this short video. If you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. And I hope you follow me along in this adventure because this axle is going to need a lot of work. She has got a lot of rust. All right, take care.